retiring a member goes beyond recognition. It is our salute to that person whose impact transcends their lifetime and spares any future player the impossible task of living up to a legacy too large to fill. Today, the 11th man will join this elite corps. On behalf of Red's ownership, it is our privilege to retire Pete Rose's number 14. The record books are filled with Pete's accomplishments. It's his feats on the field are well quantified. But what is immeasurable is how we feel about Pete. He gave his all, every play of every game, with the bravado of a champion, and we loved it. Pete's intensity pushed his teammates, pressured his opponents, and ignited our fan base night after night. Pete, because you left everything you had on the field, it is only right that your number 14 never leaves this field. From this day forward, the number 14 is retired in tribute of your career as a Cincinnati Red. Never to be worn again, becoming an icon signifying your achievement, cementing your history to our history. Please unveil the number, the 11th number to be retired, Pete Rose's number 14. You're not going to make me cry. <laughs> you know, it's funny, we're up here watching all those base hits. Johnny leans forward and says, where in the hell were the home runs? <laughs> I left that up to Johnny and Tony to hit the home runs. Now, I remember when I benched Davey many, many years ago, he was ready to kill me. He got mad at me. Well, the guy I replaced you with sitting right to your left, and his number's hanging up there. So I knew what the hell I was doing. <clears throat> you know, I had the privilege, the, I had the privilege of meeting Jackie Robinson several times when I was a youngster at Crosby Field. Number one is the guy that gave me a job back in 1963. Of course, you know I played with Johnny Bench most of his career, the greatest catcher in the history of baseball. The next guy I played with in 63 and 64 and 65, who really taught me a lot of right ways about to play the game, that was Frank Robinson. Top five player in the history of baseball. Next guy I played with many years, the greatest second baseman in the history of baseball, Joe Morgan. Next guy in my eyes was the greatest batting coach in the history of batting. He made me a better hitter. He made Doggy a better hitter. He made Davey a better hitter. He made Helms a better hitter. He made George a better hitter. He made us all better hitters, and that's Big Ted Krasuski. And this next guy, the greatest RBI guy ever, 
I don't understand why I met him 56 years ago, and he looks so damn older than I do today. That would be Tony Perez. <laughs> and of course, the next guy is a guy we all loved, the greatest manager I ever played for, Sparky Anderson. And the next guy, I probably took two years off of his career because I played third base and he had to cover so much ground on that side of the field, David Concepcion. And the next guy obviously was the best player that ever played for me, 84, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, that'd be Barry Larkin from Muller High School. And I forgot about one guy sitting up here. He wore number 14 as a Cincinnati Red, Pete Jr. And Mr. Castellini, of course, I would like to have a clause in that contract where if Pete Rose III makes the Reds, could he please wear number 14? Really, the, the Cincinnati Reds, the Cincinnati Hall of Fame, it went out of their way this weekend to make us all feel great. It just solidifies what I've been saying for many, many, many years, and I'll continue to say it. Cincinnati is the baseball capital of the world. And I know it's hot, so if you want, if you want to go get a Coke or a Budweiser, it's okay. Get that commercial in there, right, boss? <laughs> it's just a pleasure to be in front of you people. Again, it's always a pleasure to come here. It's always a pleasure to come here. Not only are those guys great Cincinnati Red players, they're the tops in the history of this great game of baseball. That's what we got up on that wall right there. And we all enjoyed entertaining you people for all those years. And the team that plays today wants to entertain you. So keep supporting the Cincinnati Reds. They need your help. They need your help on a daily basis. And who knows, it won't be long before Bob will be up here again recognizing one of the guys that are in the dugout for tonight's game. That's the way it works. I don't think any of us ever expected to be hanging up on that wall right there. I know I didn't. And I was born the closest to this place of any of the other guys up there. But it's always a pleasure to play in Cincinnati. I loved it here. I still love to come here. It's a beautiful ballpark. And we appreciate you coming out tonight. Enjoy the game, and thank you very much.